Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking Segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Chef Allison Davis here in the Wild Time Kitchen, and I'm with my buddy Anthony from Critchfield Meats. I'm back. Our meat specialist, he's back, <laughs> and I'm not cooking, so I'm a happy girl. Um, I, I, there was a like there was an executive chef or like a celebrity chef, and they said uh, somebody asked him in an interview, and they said, "What is your favorite thing to cook?" or favorite thing to eat, and he right. said anything that somebody else is going to cook for me. So, um, Anthony, what right. we got today? We have beef tri-tip. Beef is what's for dinner. Beef is what's for dinner, yes. This is it. This is a, a nice piece of meat. It's not pork and it's not chicken, it's right? Correct. It's correct. And the tri-tip is only beef, am I right? Tri-tip is only yeah, beef. Yeah, you only get yes. the tri-tip uh -huh. from your beef. Yes. Um, so we were talking and we wanted to really talk about this cut of meat is where does the tri-tip come from like on the on comes the off the bottom of the sirloin okay so if you get your sirloin steaks mm -hmm. like if you get a whole sirloin steak you might actually get a piece Some of, of the that tri -tip. Okay. yes so it's the bottom end or the bottom of the sirloin right um, you were saying a lot of people around here are not as familiar, not familiar with, with ordering it. or asking for it but it's a great cut of very great beef yeah. Especially if you know how to cook it right, again, medium rare, Mid -rare. Um, because yes. the it is a little bit more overworked Correct. than say your tenderloin. Right. But if you but know if you beef like we do, you should never correctly. cook it more than medium rare. Correct. In our, yes. our opinion. In our opinion, yes. Yeah. Um, but so, why would you suggest and people coming in and maybe ordering tri tip sometimes and trying it like on the grill? Because that's what we're going to do today. So, to grill it. so tri tip, it's a it's a it's a very affordable piece of meat, mm -hmm. uh, and you get a large portion. So this is about two pounds, yeah. and that's going to feed four to six people. Easily. Depending on if they're my size, maybe two. <laughs> well, I could feed a lot of people on that because, again, if you're cutting it thin, you, this right. is also good for, like, tacos, salads. for, like, fajita salads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you could do a lot with this um, and incorporate or it. Or sandwiches. In with a, oh yeah, yeah, sandwiches, mm -hmm. for sure. I think you could get a lot of sandwiches out yeah. of this. All right, so we season this up with a what? This is this a is new rub that you guys are doing? Rattlesnake Hill Farms. Uh, it's a, a bourbon-smoked red meat rub. It's uh, sea salt, red pepper, and garlic been smoked with bourbon. I just like the name, Rattlesnake Hill Farm. It is That's excellent. Is it out we carry of Kentucky? A, it is out of Kentucky, okay. yes, um, and we carry a lot of their products. Yeah, and, and we talk about that happy a lot with, with all of their products. like not just having like a variety and specialty meats, but just all the unique like spice blends and right. Kentucky Proud products that yes. you guys carry yep. as well. Yeah, we try to. So this is, this is a winner. I love anything that has like rock salt. And yeah, like and, it, it, and it's a grinder top yeah. too, so. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. All right, so we're going to mark this off on the grill. Yep. Any kind of grilling uh, tips just before you get your grill started, like when you prep your grill out? Hot. Get it hot. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to get my marks and then kind of set it off from the heat. Okay. Uh, um, and in terms of markings, I always call it like 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Right. You kind of just rotated the, the diamond yeah yeah, yeah that's yeah. pretty and much that's all the hatch marks we're talking right. about so classically like you would start and you would take your so steak and kind of aim it at if you're, it. yeah if you're looking at a clock you're going to aim it at say 10 o'clock right you're going to let that sit for i'd say what a minute and a half a minute and a half two minutes yeah and this one's a little bit thicker right. so maybe two minutes and then you take it from the 10 o'clock and then you turn it to two o'clock on the same side. I'm grabbing some tongs, <laughs> but for now we're gonna let it sit yep. and sear. We're gonna turn that to two o'clock, and then we'll show them the hatch marks yep. and finish this thing up. Yes. Awesome. All right, as you can see, we let this thing cook slowly on the grill. Well, not too slowly because we wanted it medium rare, but we got some beautiful hatch marks. And um, we were talking uh, just about 
the care of your grill yes. and the importance of seasoning your grill and kind of like oiling your grill and a lot right. of people oil their grill but he had a brilliant idea and you guys will have to go to Critchfield to pick it up but what do you do for your grill before you get going I use ribeye fat that's right off the tail of the ribeye mind blown and it, you just <laughs> use it just like butter and just season your grates. And you can just provide them with that ribeye fat just Certainly. to go right on the grill. That's yep. excellent. All right, let's slice into this puppy and see what we got. We want to cut against the grain. Uh, I'm just going to go on and just cut a piece off here so mm -hmm. we can look right into it. And yeah. that is a rare. Yeah, we still got a little bit of a rare happening, but I'm not mad at but it. But not mad whatsoever. And if you have that happen, you can just finish it off in the oven finish, a little bit. Yeah, just finish it off it on the oven, or, or, right you, back on or the you can or you can throw it right back on the grill. You could cut it in half and let it cook a mm -hmm. little longer, mm -hmm. or cut it up into some smaller steaks if That's you want fantastic. and throw it right on the grill. You guys know exactly where to go to get this beautiful tri-tip cut of meat. You go to Critchfield Meats over in the Zando Shopping Center. You'll see Anthony there almost every day of the week. Yeah. Um, you're watching Midday Kentucky from Chef Allison Davis. We'll be right back after this short break.